Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Like a Math Class. In this video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to uh, find out how do you find the midpoint between two points on a Cartesian grid or on a coordinate plane. So we're going to look at finding some, uh, some straightforward examples and then we'll look to the slightly more complicated one, but really it's not that bad once you kind of get into it. Let's do it. All right, so what we have here is we've got the uh, a green horizontal line, we've got a purple vertical line, and then we've got some red angled line. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the middle points for each of these things. So it's, it's gonna be a little tricky to find this red one, but once we get the idea of how we can find these the, the purple and the green one, then uh, we'll be able to extrapolate that and kind of use that to help us find the, the, the midpoint for the red line. So let's start with the green. So here we can see one, two, three, four, five. So we wanna go directly in the middle of this thing and that would be right here. Now, it's easy enough to just say, ah, oh, wait, I've got, oh wait, it's not right there in the middle, is it? Because here I'm going one, two, three spaces and here I'm going one, two space. Oh, so it's not just right in the middle. So how do we actually find that? Let's take the average of our x values. So to, to find the average or to find the middle of this, we have to find the middle of 6 and 1. So all we have to do is really take 6 plus 1 and divide it by 2, 7 divided by 2, and that's going to be 3.5. The distance of this green line is going to be at uh, 1, 2, 3.5, so right in the middle there. So that's going to be right here. So there's our midpoint. And we notice we haven't gone up or down anywhere. So this midpoint is quite simply 3.5 comma negative two, right? So all we did was we just had to find the middle of the X values and then the coordinate for the Y is exactly the same. Now, how do we find the middle of this, this purple line? Well, let's see if we can count here. That's going from one to eight. So that's gonna be, if we kind of find the middle of that, that looks right about here, let's say. So that would be going, that's right here. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Oh, it's not gonna work again. So let's find the average for this Y. So we're gonna take eight, and we're gonna add one, and we're gonna divide it by two, so nine divided by two, so 4.5. Again, our x value doesn't matter because it's exactly the same, but our y value goes from 1, 1 2, 3, 4.5. So it's going to be right there in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4.5. So right here will be our midpoint, uh, negative 5, because we don't go anywhere on our x, and then we've got 4.5 for our y. So now what you may have noticed that happened in each of these to find the middle of our x, all we did was we found the average of these two uh, of these two coordinates or these two uh, these two values. And to find the uh, the midpoint for our y, we just found the average of these two things. So to find the uh, the midpoint of this, we're going to find the 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 distance between our red, and we're going to find the or the midway point between our, uh, this this line. We're going to find the midway point between this line, and that will give us the midpoint of the whole red line. So the distance, uh, the distance here, it looks like we're going to be going between one and nine. So this new distance, actually, let's make this. So the distance here, that's going to be between one and nine, or sorry, one and yeah, uh, one and nine. That's right. So we're going to take the average here, we're going to take the average of uh, 9 plus 1, and we're going to divide that by 2. That's going to give us a value of 10 over 2, which is 5. So at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is right here. So if I take a straight line here, that should give me the middle of the x's. And what about the middle of the y's? What if we take that? So here, we want to find this distance. That distance is between seven, between seven and one. So if we take seven plus one and divide it by two, that's going to be eight divided by two, which is four. 
So we should have a midpoint at one, two, three, four at about right here. So let's find the X value or the Y value, the intersection there, bink. And look at that. When we find the middle of this distance and the middle of this distance, that finds us the exact middle of our red line. So if we ever want to just find the midpoint of a, of a line, of a diagonal line, we can find the average of our x's and the average of our y's, and that will give us the exact coordinate there. So the midpoint formula is always just going to be the average of your x's. And so let's call this, uh, let's call this, uh, let's call this x2 and uh, y2, and we'll call this bottom one x1 and y1. So all you really have to do is take x2 plus y2, uh, sorry. So what you're going to do is you're going to take x2 plus x1 and you're going to divide by 2. And that's the x value for that coordinate. And then you're going to take the y, and then you're going to take the y2 plus the y1 and divide it by 2. And that will give you the y value of that coordinate. So it's pretty straightforward. All you're doing is taking the average of the x's, the average of the y's, and that's giving you the coordinate of the midpoint. And that will find you the midpoint of any between any two points on the coordinate plane. Talk to you in the next video.